Let's stand up and give a roaring round of applause for our first school, Fieri Charter School. Little black man, they will never see the innocence in your adolescence. They don't have no ears or no mouth. Only thing that they see is the color of your skin and that's sin enough for them. You can't walk with your hands in your pockets. Don't reach for your wallet. Don't turn your back on them. They gonna think you're being disrespectful. Knee in your neck, I ain't tell you to move yet. Keep wishing on that star because you're not gonna never see your future. They can't wait to see that look on your mom's face as she praying that her son meet those heaven gates. We don't have no rights in this society. I mean, we're just sitting ducks at the bottom of the food chain watching as the news change. It's another black man shot in cold blood. Did the news change? You become so numb to the fact that your classmate's face was on a television, posted on the street corner like a tadpole with his eyes closed and his body saw when his face exposed. With his soul when his body back, saw his black face, they don't need him to put his body back. Digging knee deep in the dirt, searching for an answer you won't find in today's society, because today's society is so blind. Little black man, or little black man of mine, they will never see the innocence in your adolescence. We are Free Every Charter School, and we are located at the heart center city of Philadelphia. Our team name is Fury Protects Philadelphia. And the challenge that we chose was a challenge presented to us by Reverend Jeffrey Brown, which was to make nonviolent school in our communities. We chose this challenge because our school is a 100% nonviolent school, meaning that if a student is caught in a physical or verbal altercation, they will be expelled. At least 29 students have been expelled or withdrawn from the school due to, to, due to violence. And also, our school is a 100% man. Violence is the main reason, and violence is the main cause of stress in our school. At our school, we had a school-wide event called Take Back the City, in which several opportunities are presented throughout the year to face issues in our community. This Take Back the City lesson was centered on stress management and coping with nonviolence. At Free Every Middle School, we taught the same lesson to the middle school students. Take Back the City is a school-wide event that is usually planned by teachers, but this session was planned by Free Every Protects Philly. We plan a two and a half hour long session for 460 high school students. We chose and trained 27 student leaders from grades nine to 12 at Freary to help us lead Take Back the City. One, over 100% of the leaders we recruited volunteered a total of nine hours, meaning that the people we recruited also brought friends. We also work with teachers to perfect the plan for Take Back the City. At the middle school, we planned two half hour long sessions with over 107th grade students with the cooperations of their teacher. Okay, the objectives for Take Back the City this year were students will be able to identify sources of stress in their lives, realize there are alternatives to handle stress other than violence, and to pledge to cope with stress in healthy ways. Uh, in a survey, 69% of students uh, found ways to deal with stress in their lives. 56% uh, of students uh, found ways to avoid violence on their way to and from school. And 51% of students uh, found, uh, were inspired to practice nonviolence. Only in a one tape of the session, which shows that we have more work to be done. And this is a word cloud of, stu of how students and teachers would deal with, uh, cope with stress in their lives. Other results we also achieved by taking charge of Take Back the City and Train Your Jang is that we got invited back to the middle school to participate in their nonviolent service learning project in May. We spoke to the Pennsylvania State Senator, Ryan Ahmed, about the Aspen Challenge Project. We donated student creative work to create, decorate peer mediation rooms at school, and we also had zero violence incidents reported since May says May 8th, which was Take Back the City. Our team's long-term goal is to broaden our nonviolence message by continuing our mentorship at the middle school, creating a safer environment for all students, creating a nonviolent demonstration at City Hall, and increasing our student retention rate. 
So what's showing now is our um, slideshow of different people in different ways. We, uh, okay. We, um, we did take back the city, so, and train your dragon. Great job. Now if I could have the clock for three minutes. Right now you're going to be able to take advantage of doing three minutes of Q&A with the judges. And keep in mind that this is a good time to talk about things that you couldn't fit in in the five minutes. So utilize the three minutes to really showcase what you weren't able to say during the presentation. All right? Yes. Time begins now. Any questions? Uh, yes. Yes. Great. I'd love to hear how it is you went and recruited the teachers to work with you on this project. Oh, so we, this, Take Back the City is usually planned by our staff and our teachers. What we thought would be fun if we as a students did it because it would make more of a better impact because we all have the same lives and we go through the same things and we thought it would be more positive and like more impactful if we did it. Uh, you. Uh, how you doing? Hi. Very good job. Uh, Thank you. You guys spoke about meditating and written presentation. Can you talk about the meditation room and or did you actually do any meditating yourself? We actually, when we, when we came to the opening summit, they had a meditation for us and it was like really common. And we thought that we could include that in our solution and it would be very like creative because the students actually liked it. Like they were kind of skeptical at first, but they actually enjoyed it. You actually did it in the school? Huh? You actually did it at your school? Yes. Oh, uh, you? Yeah. Um, what are your plans? Well, first of all, awesome job, and I love the vision. Thank you, thank creating you. Creating the culture shift in your school is much needed. Um, what, are, what are the mechanisms or the things you're gonna put in place that's gonna sustain the culture shift between the schools? We're gonna keep on doing Take Back the City, and we're also gonna keep going back to the middle school to help them broaden our nonviolence message. Okay, what does it look like? Every year we're going to hold a session like we did before, like the two and a half hour long session about nonviolence. We're going to keep talking about it because it's not something that's talked about in our school. And we want it to be more of a broad issue. Okay. I would also say congratulations, great job. And also, what was it like working as a team? Can someone talk about that? Um, it was challenging, yeah. It was really hard, but you know, Patience and communication is what you need in order to do this, you know. It was, you know what I would say to people who, you know, want to do this challenge or who want to um, do something that we did. You just need to have patience. You need to be able to understand that people won't have the same point of view as you. So you need to, like, you know, be communicate, have good communication skills and be patient with everything. Yeah, to add on to what Safin said, I really agree with what she said. And our ideas clashed a lot during this. So we just try to like combine our ideas together to make it even more amazing experience for us. Compromising. Yeah, compromising. Uh, since this is something that your uh, teachers normally did, what did you do differently maybe then from the way the teachers did it? Well, we first, like, you know, we're students, we're very social in our school, so we basically, we talk to all our peers and, you know, about all the previous Take Back the Cities and we, you know, we asked them what they would do differently and they told us and basically we just did what we were gonna do with it and everybody ended up enjoying it. We just, um, instead of, you know, having everybody, you know, have, have to do certain things, it was just like we gave them like the free space to move around and do what they chose to do with it. So that was like very, that was, the students were very receptive today. All right, time is up. Oh, uh -huh. Let's give our team a round of applause. <laughs>